Hey, 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 how y'all doing today? We are going to be doing a biography on George Lamming, who is an amazing essayist, novelist, poet, Caribbean public figure, great guy. Uh, he is a professor, a lecturer, someone who still is deciding to do the work of the culture till this day. Uh, so uh, with that being said, we're going to jump right in. George Lamming was born in Carrington Village, which is located in Barbados. At a young age, his mother was married. They then moved to St. David's Village. This is seen here. George Lamming was an attendant at Roebuck Boys School, where he received a scholarship for Cobermere School, he met his professor, Frank Collymore. Frank Collymore was the man responsible for moving and inspiring Lemming to continue his writing and his work. After uh, Lemming graduated from Cobamere, he moved to Trinidad. In Trinidad, he decided that he wanted to become a teacher himself. So he went to the El Colegio de Venezuela and taught for four years. In 1951, Lamming decided that he was going to go and migrate again to England. In England, he began as a factory worker where he was able to scrape enough money and work on his writing, his poetry, and his essays to become a broadcaster at the BBC. In 1951, Lamming decides it's time to write his first novel and he publishes In the Castle of My Skin. He was then recognized all over England as well as the West Indies and people began to look forward to and read his writing, his essays, and his poetry. For In the Castle of My Skin, he was awarded the Somerset Award as well as the Guggenheim Fellowship Award. In 1955, he writes his second book, The Immigrant, which is basically the tale of the people from the West Indies immigrating to England on a ship. This is the uh, the comings of their lives, how they turned out uh, after they got off of the ship, after they immigrated, what they realized about themselves as small islanders versus big islanders versus me being a little guy on a big ship and England accepting me for who I am and me being able to progress in the society and how they did that as individuals. So it's also a great novel I would suggest checking out. In 1955, Mr. Lemming travels to the U.S. In 1956, he goes back to the West Indies. And in 1958, he moves to West Africa. While in Africa, he writes Age of Innocence, which is another awesome novel that I would suggest you guys checking out. Well, all of the novels are pretty awesome, but uh, to continue in two years later, he writes Seasons of Adventure. And this is where he begins to lecture and go to different schools and inspire different students. He decides to go to the University of Nairobi and he, took, he takes a 12 year hiatus on his writing career while going and traveling through the countries just inspiring the culture and letting students know what he's seen, what he has to offer, and what he has learned. And he still continues to go to universities and travel today, mostly in the U.S. He has gone to the University of Texas, the University of North Carolina, Brown University, Cornell University, and a whole bunch of others. He continues today um, to teach uh, at Duke and Brown University on a regular basis. Actually, he has a lecture coming up uh, November 18th at Brown University. He continues on to have a primary school named after him, George Lamming Primary School, which is located in Flint Hall, St. Michael. In 2011, Brown University awarded Mr. Brown with a series of events. In 2011, Mr. Lamming did a panel discussing Columbus as well as national identity, post-colonialism, and literature. Overall, Mr. Lamming, I hope you see this since you're still alive and kicking and doing your thing. Thank you. Thank you genuinely from the bottom of my heart and as uh, other students, other professors, other teachers that continue to teach, discuss, analyze your work. We thank you. We appreciate you. We see what you have done and we're going to wrap it up. Uh, George Lamming, the amazing guy.